Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play Persona 5 Royale Part 16. In the previous video, we, uh, we had our party where we went to the buffet and formally decided to continue being Phantom Thieves. Let's do it. We're gonna go talk to uh, Chickadee since we haven't had a chance to do her social link at all up to this point. At least I'm pretty sure we haven't. We got our lover's persona. Let's freaking go. I think someone's watching me this morning. Hmm, what should I do? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to at least ask. Oh, but then... Lady Anne seems depressed. Uh, never mind, it's nothing. Should be able to invite her out with my current kindness. Wait, I should or shouldn't? I should. I'm fine, see what's your size. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Tell me about your problems? Are you sure? You're so reliable. I guess it wouldn't be so bad talking to you about this stuff. Right, what do you think? Will you spend some time with Lady Anne? Uh, sure. Let's go to the diner. You can't buy any food unless you're paying. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Really, I figured you'd like creep in on it. Mm, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's Shio. Well, when I went to visit her in the hospital, I said she was sorry. Why are you gonna tell me about Kamashia and all the things he was doing to her? Uh, it was my fault, too. I didn't realize how much trouble she was in, and I wasn't there for her. So, I apologized as well. Doing better now? Yeah. I uh, finally got to tell her everything I couldn't bring myself to say before. Hey. And, um, remember how Kamashita threatened to take Shio off the team if I didn't sleep with him? I only agreed to it so that I wouldn't ruin Shio's dreams. Now that I think about it, he never would have put her on the bench and cost his team games. Seriously should have dared him to try and take her starting spot. But in the end, maybe I just didn't believe in her ability. I mean... I don't know. Can you really think that logically when you're faced with that decision? But, but... That might have been true. But honestly, I think it was all because of how weak I am. That's why I believe Kamashita's authority outweighed Chio's own ability to earn her starting spot. Um. You remember the last time I talked to you like this? And I got that phone call from Kamashita and cried? I felt so alone, scared even. But because you were there for me, I decided not to go. I was a little surprised at how pushy you were about it, but I see now you just wanted to help. Thanks. Were we pushy? I mean, we couldn't just ignore you. No, he's kind of told us some deep shit. So kind. Back then, people used to call me all sorts of names. <sighs> Pussy bitch, Kamashita's girl. I got tired of it pretty quickly. To tell you the truth, someday I want to be able to take the labels like that in stride. Hey. Yeah, that's what we do when they talk about how we carry a knife and we say, yeah, you want to see it? Persona's are the power of the heart, right? It means if my heart gets stronger, my persona will too. So, I want to strengthen my heart. I want to use that strength to help the people around me. I hope we can save people from trouble, just like we did when we changed Kamashita's heart. Well, honestly, I don't even know what strong is. I'm going to find that answer. I promise. Find it together. Really? And we got so many freaking music notes. Thanks. I feel like I'm a little stronger already. I guess that doesn't really count, though, huh? I'll be relying on you. Let's train together and make our hearts super strong. That's what we're doing with Ryuji with all our running. He takes it a bit more literally. The negotiation with a female shadow fails. You can try again. Like I'd ever fail negotiations. All right. I'm the god of talking to shadows. Strong heart. Hmm. Oh yeah. How about this? I won't get any refills on phantom drinks. I mean, they're free, so not getting any would mean you have a strong heart. I guess. Huh? Well, like a strong brain, because, you know. I mean, sodas are good, but, you know, they're not really worth it. Other than, like, special situations. Bye. I 
hey, it's me. Thanks for listening to what I had to say earlier. Now I feel like I have a better idea of who I want to be. And I'm going to think of how I can strengthen my heart. Think of anything, I'll let you know. I hope you join me next time. Uh, but no refills thing again. Well, I was totally kidding about that. Uh, how about you help me come up with ways to train my heart? Have you thought about getting an exercise bike? Or you could steal all these free bikes on the side of the road. I mean, steal, uh, I meant, uh, 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 borrow. Oh, can we go outside for real now? You get to lock up from now on. I can't keep waiting for you to come home. Don't start any fires, okay? Hey. You can now leave the Yongan area at night. Hey. Okay, so now we can go talk to freaking creepy cult guy. Uh, come to think of it, shouldn't we stop at the airsoft shop and ask about that paper bag? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Hey there, our next feature is on Japanese artists. It's the dude we're gonna fucking kill eventually. He may, his many works fetch extraordinary prices, even overseas. He's a truly world renowned artist. Madare, Madar, Madarame? Was that his name? Oh, we have lyrics. And takes in children with no families as pupils, giving them a home, right? He's a saint! Or is he? Dude, we haven't really had many uh, tracks with lyrics so far. Unless maybe that's like a... Maybe that's a thing. Maybe some of the tracks only have lyrics later on. Because you make it through the game. You guys say anything new? No. Say anything about Feather Change. Alright, take me to... We'll go to the shop first. It shouldn't use any time. Came at just the right time. Slight change of plans. That paper deck from the other day, it's all yours. You picked it up somewhere. Nothing to do with me, understand? I didn't see it. I didn't touch it. I don't know about it. We clear? Okay. If that's it, then go home. You can window shop somewhere else. Hey. Modified model gun should be a powerful weapon used during palace battles. Let's ask him about what's inside the bag. Don't freak out. Just ask him. Could ask him if I had dauntless guts. Come on. Oh, maybe so you have a social link, I guess. Huh? You looking to buy or not? Okay. Okay. Selling you? I mean, Sounds I guess good. you sell new stuff. I um, think that's All old. Right. All right. Which one? Okay. I guess you don't sell new stuff yet. Or maybe Come you do. Again. They don't seem to be that big of upgrades though. All right. Let's go find. Dude, he is at Station Square? Hmm. You hear about the famous teacher who's now involved in a scandal? Not very smart of him. Yeah, sexual harassment, such deviant behavior. The media's gonna have a feeding frenzy. With the internet, even minor incidents can become sensationalized nowadays. Is it really minor? We should try and avoid a scandal. We don't want to bring shame to our company. Hey, hey, listen up, man. Club's the best in the world. We always go all out. Just back from the vacay, ready to party. Vacay? This has been going nonstop since the pledge party. These guys are hardcore. All right, what up? Please consider what I have to say. I've been far many too, far too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? Runaway train incident. Mysterious psychotic breakdowns. A school with a corrupt teacher. We have yet to discover the truth of it all. The apathy that permeates society is a direct result of negligence by our government and the media. You. You are listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? Sure. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interest of someone your age. Hmm. Hmm. I could use the help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without any experience. Hmm, sorry about that. However, I'd be happy if you stopped by to hear one of my speeches again. Well then, that's all for today. I'm heading to the beef bowl shop. Because I am like a common person. Old man's speech is impressive. That kind of talk might be useful for negotiations in the metaverse. 
But I guess he's looking for someone with more experience. If you could just show him your dedication. Wait. He said he's going to the beef bowl shop, right? I thought he's talking about the one on Central Street. What if you worked part time at the beef bowl shop? Okay. Can we just do that or do I have to go talk to the pamphlet again? You want to talk to over here? Hello. What do you want? I don't want to get hurt. What are you doing? What do you care? Well, it's got nothing to do with you, kid. City, you can get hurt from meddling someone's business, you know? Be careful. Oh, what's gotten into you? Our boyfriend. Couldn't leave you a fan of yourself with the trains derailed left and right. I can't just stop worrying about you. Hang on at the city hall to while you hold. Stop making such a fuss. You're embarrassing me. I strain started to derail. I just use my big strong muscles and put it back on the track. What are your thoughts? Oh. Right. Let's call him. This is uh Orino Becco on Central Street. How many people are you ordering for? Probably about the job opening. This is great timing. We're in need of some extra hands. I'd take just about anyone at this point. You don't mind working at night, do you? Stop by any time you're free to work. I'll be waiting. Okay. We'll head over. Where is it? I don't know, just take me close to it. I didn't see it on the list. You apply for the part-time job at the beef ball shop, right? Some days the shop will be more crowded than usual during busier times. You'll need to remember a lot of orders. Oh. Oh. I've been waiting. Man, look at our drip. You're the new part-timer, right? I've been expecting you. I don't need to introduce yourself, actually. I need you to start working right away. Any questions? You have any questions? Um. Any other employees? Sorry. Not quite. The budget's been cut despite being short staffed, so you'll have to do everything alone. You're a spry young dude, right? You'll be fine. I'll pay you more to make up for the extra work. Anything else? Oh, what do I do here? Let me explain. Take customers' orders, prep them, serve them up, ring them up, and clean the store. Meals are already made, so it should be simple. Just make sure you're nice to the customers, okay? Thanks in advance. Ready made beef bowls? You guys don't even cook? Mm. That was ludicrous. You have to do everything by yourself in the very beginning? Oh, well, just give it your best shot, and I guess I'll be cheering you on. Why don't you help? Hey, wait! The customer in front of you is waiting to pay. Oh, that's one angry-looking face. Hey, someone wants to change their order. Add an egg. They should have told us earlier. Nice work. Good work. You can leave for now since the end of your shift. This is your pay today. Thank you. Hope you can keep it up. I wanted to talk to guy. Are you okay? You were alone out there this whole time. You still manage all those orders by yourself. You asked me, you were pretty proficient. Let's head back. And maybe after doing that, we can talk to him. Um. Hey. Move a little to the right. I can't see the screen. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are. Bro, who holds their... Is that a PSP, dude? Who holds it like that, you weirdo? Volleyball beating investigation. The school claims to have left teaching methods up to its staff. It is denied once again that it had any knowledge of the beatings. Call in warnings of, as of next week, greater volume and arriving later than in previous years. Hot, hot, hot spots of Tokyo. Experience art in Shibuya. The Matarame exhibit it opens next week. Hmm. We're really talking about the Kamoshida incident. One, I mean, I, I do kind of wish they hadn't, like... Like, I feel like the flash forward sequence to the interrogation don't add much. Especially that one. Like, I, I think the little hints about this, uh, sword guy would be cooler if they hadn't flat out told us he's the next target. Even if it would become, you know, as you keep singing his name, you'd be like, okay, this is probably important. But I don't know. I'd, I'd prefer a bit more subtlety there. No one in this car knows we're the ones who did it. Yep. 
Yeah, you got exams starting on Wednesday. Don't know you forgot. Open your textbooks. Hey, okay, today we're talking about the tale of the bamboo cutter. Okay, I've heard of this. Most theorize it's the oldest story in Japan. For some, it's the oldest science fiction story in the world. But if you ask me, it's the oldest story in Japan about a terrible woman. I mean, Princess Kaguya gives her suitors absurd tasks, demands fancy gifts, and then runs off to the moon. Some men lose their fortunes, some are humiliated, and some even get serious wounds or go blind. Women like Princess Kaguya actually show up in a lot of stories around the world. Now then, oh fuck. Okay. Do you know the answer? You probably heard that a woman who uses her wiles to lead people to their doom is a femme fatale. But what's the literal translation of the phrase femme fatale? A fatal woman. This is it. Exactly. The answer is fatal woman in French, of course. Some famous examples are the witch Morgan Le Fay from the Arthurian legend and Queen Solom from the Bible. Not to mention the wild, seductive dancer of opera, Carmen. He actually knew that? Maybe I should ask him if I can borrow his notes. Nice going. He must be really smart to answer a question like that. So, let me just warn you that exams aren't so easy you can pass them with a single night of cramming. Take your time and make sure you understand the material, okay? Hmm. Alright, it must be rough being a student. We've got you to cheat for us. Well, you have nothing to lose from studying, given all you got. None of these posts are any good. Everyone's just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. Uh, there ain't even a hint of a hint about a new palace. We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. Guess we just gotta find one ourselves, then. Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Well, yeah, that's what we did the first time. Yeah, you're right. We should probably just hold off till exams are done with, huh? We can wait and see for a little Meaning longer. that the whole point of our jobs that we find that crimes that the police aren't investigating because nobody knows about them? Or, or overlooking them? Oh. Okay. Trying to infiltrate our group, limits, you, you imposter, you sussy baka. Uh, we'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the center of gossip, and the infamous transfer student. Hmm, interesting combination. <sighs> Great way to start a conversation. By the way. It seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamoshida pretty well. Who? Are you playing dumb with me? It just goes to show how little interaction he had with him. Hmm. I heard Mr. Kamoshida used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamoshida, I mean. Who? What's all this about? My friend here's an upstanding guy. Plus, well, so we don't talk to narcs. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. <laughs> Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Okay, anyone who uses the word horseplay, like, you lose many points. Horseplay? Yeah. Ah, oh, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? Loser, loser alert. She's on to us. That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. And plus, like, even if you think we did it, we obviously did a good thing, so don't investigate us, you loser. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. 
There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so late. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. Our new hideout? You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. What are you bringing us here for? Just do as I told you. All right, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said, there's no info on any big shots, don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. You won't listen to what I say. No, wait, there's no name on this one. Someone's bad-mouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? Well, if you saw a post, why don't you just tell us where to find it? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. It says he's a teller at City Hall. By God, he's basically in line to be the Prime Minister. A government worker stalking someone? That should be a suitable target. I mean, it seems kind of lame. All right, now get the meta nav ready. We're just gonna jump right into a palace? Fine by me. Hey, what happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? I don't know. Okay, I guess let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay then, let's go. We need a name and a place, right? So the name is... Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The key word is... Mementos. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. Ah, jeez. That again? Uh... Mementos, was it? Candidate found. We got a hit? Just as I thought. Okay. Everyone disappeared. It kind of feels like I'm walking on air. Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right, but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Underground? Like the sweet juice How stand. Get there? Probably through the stairs. How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, wait up, cat. Yo, we got our sweet drip. What is this place? Wait, our clothes changed? The shadows know we're here? Since the moment we stepped in. Can you turn back into a cat? You should have told us. We're still safe right here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor. But it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. More importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos. Will you see they're the fresh maker? Everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean everyone's? A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. Okay. That's where we are now. Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? Even though they're just strangers? Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is... 
Using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different, though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we gonna be able to get around just by walking? Can we summon a sweet bike? It seems the time has finally come. Morgana! Transform! Feather change? You gonna turn into a motorcycle? Uh, what the hell? You're... Come now, Panther. Ladies first. I thought you turned into a dang motorcycle and said you're the freaking mystery machine. A car? No way! This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. It's not dissimilar to how you guys transform. You're telling me I can turn into a car? You turn it into a car is totally different <laughs> than our clothes changing. I kind of agree. For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. What? Why a bus, though? It's a reference I don't get. No idea. All right, magic school bus, let's go. Wait, why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could. But that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. But what if you believe it fits on top of a chandelier? Hey, Skull! Ladies first! Hey, stop pulling me! Oh, that's dangerous! Panther, please be gentle! All aboard! Let's go! So who's driving? Why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? More of a bus slash van. I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. You can't drive yourself? Do you know how to drive? Time to bust my moves. Um, safety first, okay? Joker grew up playing Need for Speed Underground. You'd better not smash up my beautiful face. You hear me? All right, then. We'll leave the driving to you. Now start the engine. You can't drive if it's not running. Jeez, oh, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. <laughs> that tickled. Lower. Lower! The cat just turned into a bus. I don't know if anyone has noticed that this happened? I feel like it bears repeating. That feels so good. Uh, is that Burren I hear? Oh, what a creepy ass car. Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. All right, well, we had a good run with Persona 5 Royale, but I think that's it. I think the Let's Play is over, game's uninstalled. You should have become the Catmobile. Whoa! Place totally does feel like a palace. You guys would be strange driving on the tracks like in a real world. Anyway, uh, Nakanahara is somewhere in here, right? Most likely in a segment of his own creation. Don't worry, it won't be the size of a palace. Our next step is to find an entrance to that segment. And again. What's the entrance gonna look like? I have no idea, but strong distortion should be a pretty obvious visual clue. So we just gotta go wandering around for it then? What a goddamn pain in the ass. Okay. Mario Kart? Oh, it's even got a tail. Can I activate my mushroom? Screw. Yeah, it does it. I mean, it's got pretty good handling. You have been destroyed. Okay, Slime. We have you. What are you weak to? Fire and wind. I'm sorry, Slime. You're gonna have to defeat your friends. Okay, well, we're actually gonna switch over. I mean, I assume we have fire and ice on someone. And fire and wind. Go down. Looking cool, Joker. Now we can't baton pass back to you guys, right? Can we? Yeah, you can't do it. 
And unfortunately, dude can't do anything, so. Looking cool, Joker. I don't think we care about getting XP for slime. Let's go. I think we care more about just getting XP for ourselves. Forty, a thousand Mallory dudes. Hey, Medio, that's pretty good. Minuscule physical damage to one foe with a high chance of critical. Seems kind of interesting. They were nothing. I mean, a high chance of. I mean, a crit's pretty good. Oh. Treasure chest spotted. Alert capsule. We're back in the dang. I don't know, Catmobile? We'll have to just go with that. Joker, a treasure. Screw. Get out of the car. Go down. Joker. I don't think the target is down there. They're hiding somewhere in this area. Oh. I feel like I checked everything, but what do I know? Oh, we didn't go over this way. I spotted a shadow jump. Okay, Pixies, Explody Boys. Absolutely demolished. Absolutely demolished. <laughs> okay. Shadow defeated. Oh, is there anything over here? No. All right, into the portal we go. Who the hell is this? It's all wavy and shit, man. This is the place. This is the target up ahead. Ready, Joker? Let's do it. It even hissed. <laughs> hey, something's there. Seems to be knocking a horror shadow. Let me see. Some front desk guy at the city hall become a stalker, right? Oh, we don't know how much evil he's done, but we have to do something if we start bothering other people. Let's go talk to him. That does remind me, though. We got that Agi ring a while back, and I never equipped it on anyone. I like you having Diorama, though. I guess you can do fire and wind, just like, just like Lady Anne. You that stalker? Haven't you ever stopped to consider how your ex feels? And honestly, even if you weren't doing that stalking shit, the fact that you have that haircut means you must be destroyed. She's my property. I can do whatever I want with her. It's not like she didn't treat me like a plaything. What's wrong with me doing the same? Cringe. You can't treat someone like shit just because they did it to you. What a load of crap. We're gonna change the hearts of all the bastards like you. There are millions of people far worse than me. What about Matarame? He stole everything from me, but you're letting him off the hook? Matarame? What the hell's this guy going on about? Get ready. Yo, he's dancing a freaking jig! What do I think you're weak to? Now that I finally have what's rightfully mine, I'm not going to let you take it away! Look, this is a winner-takes-all world. Come fight me, and I'll show you what I mean. Feeling like lightning. I knew it. I remember you were weak to lightning somewhere in my subconscious. Whatever your name is. I mean, I recognize you from previous games. This little creature thing. Oh, actually, we, what we should have done. We did that wrong. So I think maybe we could have, like... It maybe would have been more damage to Baton pass back to the main character so we could hit the weakness again. Or so it affects your accuracy.
Mm, I mean, just try it. Oh god. Good, good dodge, good dodge. I think we can just kind of just like do damage and all in from here. As long as we kill before he goes again. I don't know, I think, I think it's actually, I just want to see how much damage it is in comparison. Because if you go again... I guess it's about the same, and you don't have to use SP. Okay, we got, you got Tarunda, that's pretty nice. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I couldn't stop obsessing. Not after this person I trusted used me and then disposed of me. Which person? Hold on, are you talking about that guy you mentioned earlier? Matarame? I was afraid of being thrown away again like some worthless thing. So some selfish bastard was making you suffer too. Still, you shouldn't have dragged an unrelated woman into your mess. And please get a haircut. Yes, I know that now. I'll put an end to my love for her. Hey, you can change people's hearts, right? Honestly, you don't even have to get a haircut. You can just like, I don't know, ruffle it up a little bit so it doesn't look so bowly. In that case, won't you change Maharami's heart before more people fall victim to him? Change Matarame's heart? Hmm? What's that shining thing? It's the bud of a treasure. Had we left it be, it very well may have blossomed into a palace. Can we eat it? Joker, this will make a perfect reward. Perfect reward. Attachment pearl. And we completed a request. So Nakanohara had a change of heart, right? Most likely. But how are we supposed to know if we succeeded? I don't know. Well, the lady posted the dude's name online. If he really does change, she'll probably comment again. And then donate money to us. Mm, you do have a point. Either way, training against shadows down here is the best. It's great prep for our next target. It's also nice to be able to give courage to the people who post their problems online. On top of that, we can sell whatever treasure we get for some cold hard cash. Sounds like things are going pretty great for us. All right, we did it. Hold on. There's somewhere I want to show you guys before we leave. What, there's more? Is it the bottomless pit? Don't worry. It won't take long. Well, then. Why don't we leave this room first? Okay. Things first. We'll heal you up just in case we get into any combat on the way back. Leave, leave. Yes, Back in the Meow Mobile. Somewhere I'd like to check in the area further down. The platform we saw earlier should be the way down. Let's head there first. Wait, you've been here before, right? Don't you have like a map or something? That would hold no meaning in this place. The layout changes every time you enter. For real? Wait, so our path changes too? This place is the fused cognition of a countless number of people. It's constantly, sh constantly shifting. Even so, our destination should be pretty close. I'm counting on you, Joker. Okay. Freaking fast and furious. We may as well fight some guys while we're down here just to make use of our SP to get XP. And then we'll have you guys finish it. Yep, hopes the best. Got some tin class, got some levels. Okay. They were nothing. Hmm. 
I mean, I do like that you tackle them full force. Oh man, that man got fucking blizzasted. I guess because they are kind of low-level enemies. I feel like it should be like a crime, what we're doing. I feel like we're just like beating up children. Okay, Garu, and then you're weak to gun. I do kind of wish you could skip the all out attacks though. I mean, they're pretty cool looking, but you know, we've already seen them a lot. All right. Good work. Keep it up. Oh, hold on a sec. You guys hearing something? It's the evil train. The ghost train. The trains are totally running. Of course they are. We're in the subway, you know. Yeah, but I thought this was a palace. And maybe this is how the public views this place? I don't know. Okay, got it. The subway's the most evil place in the world. People go through this darkness every day? Forget that! You sure we're cool running around on these tracks? Should be fine as long as we're not on the same ones. I think. I'm no train expert. You gotta be kidding me! Anyway, let's head to the lower This area. baby can turn on the dime. We can dodge a train. Okay. End area two. This way. All right, there it is. The thing I wanted to m make sure of is in of is inside. Drop kick the wall. What is this place? It's kind of creepy. You're kind of creepy. And a dead end at that. Why does it even exist? Now hold on. Just watch. This is most likely not an ordinary wall. What if it is an ordinary wall? My hunch is correct. It opened. Why can't they just have like a turnstile like everywhere else? A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating guidance information. See? It's just as I thought. What do you mean? That wall wouldn't budge when I came here by myself before. But it'd be weird for the deepest part of Mementos to be some normal place like this, wouldn't it? So you're thinking there's got to be more? Yeah. Now that Kamoshida's palace is gone and people are actually starting to talk about us, I knew something had to have changed down here. How deep is it? Should we try going further down? Let's not. That's not why we're here today, remember? We've already accomplished our goal. We should head back, and I'll explain more once we're home. Okay. Um. Hey, look. What? What in the hell am I looking at? A person? In mementos? Hmm. Maybe it's this one. What? Ooh. Tasty. What? Hey, what's he drinking? A sip of the damn sauce. Oh. Hmm. I thought I felt something strange for a second. Aren't you supposed to be like, you look like you're supposed to be like in a Mega Man game. So, who are you guys? We should be asking you that. Good point. Sorry about that. You're not like a robot master, are you? It's customary for a human to introduce itself before asking another human for its name. Thanks for reminding me, Mr. Um, Tanuki? No, um, hmm, Cat? What took so long to come up with Cat? <laughs> and I'm not either of those. Yeah, uh, getting confused about that seems pretty normal to me. My name is Jose. I'm looking for flowers. Okay. I'm pretty surprised to see some normal humans running around. 
Well, normal is maybe a strong word for us. I didn't know people could just come here. Well, we are pretty special. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not important. Who you are is what matters right now. And I really hate that her gloves are pink and not red. Just, I don't know. It just feels so, like, jarring. I mean, if they're even, like, black would fit better. When you said you or if, like, the flowers, boots were also pink. You that floating thing? I don't know, just the pink gloves is, like, off-putting. That's right, pretty lady. Those seem to be the ones I've been looking for. I'm collecting as many of them as I can, because I'm studying humans. Who's your little robot master working for Dr. Wily? Studying humans? That's why you turned a flower into a drink? Yep. Drinking flower juice counts as studying? No, don't give him any ideas. Ryuji, you're going to fail your exams. Hey, could you guys help me with my research? How? By collecting flowers for me. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free, though. I find all kinds of stuff you can use while you're exploring. I'll trade you some of that stuff for more flowers. What? What do you think? Should we try and get him some flowers? Why are you guys more, like, asking questions? Seems like it could do us some good, but we don't know this kid. We gotta be careful. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Let's give him a hand. He seems like he could use it, and it shouldn't be too hard to pick flowers while we're exploring, right? Okay. Any other reasons? <laughs> he called me pretty lady. All right, you're off the team. No, lady on. Eh, it's probably fine. I mean, he said he'd give us useful stuff and all. You're too what easily said? swayed. Well, are you going to help me find the flowers or not? Um, uh, what are the rewards? Thanks. Wait, wait, hang on a second. We still have no idea who this kid is. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird. Don't go thanking us just yet, bud. Aw, are you tired, kitty? You seem grumpy. Wasn't that just like the natural state of cats? I am not a cat, and I'm not grumpy. Uh, oh, okay. Then... Are you hungry? Yes, but that's beside the point. I learned hunger can make a person turn grumpy. Here, you can have this. Thanks, but I'll pass. I won't. Well, yeah, you're making the kid worry about you even more. Uh, guess there's no way out of this one. I'll be looking for flowers around here, so stop by and say hi if you see me. What? Oh, and I guess just gathering flowers would be kind of boring, huh? Since you humans seem to enjoy playing so much, I'll come up with some fun games for you. Ah, oh, I also remembered something humans like to say to each other. Good job. <laughs> Who in the hell was that? If he's studying humans, does that mean he isn't one? What clued you into that? I mean, he just seemed like some nice kid. What are you talking about? That man is the ultimate incarnate of evil. Well, he didn't feel like a shadow. I wouldn't say he's dangerous. At least for now. Anyways, if we see any of those flowers he wants, I guess we can grab them for him. Whoa! I totally forgot! Doesn't have a meaning to give it to all of you. You just met us. What would that be? Well, actually, I picked up something strange while I was exploring earlier. Here it is. It's a gun. Huh? The heck is this? <laughs> it's a star. At least that's what they look like. So that's what I call them. Star. Um. um so, what do you want to show us? Humans make wishes on stars, right? That's so interesting. Stars granting wishes. This star is going to grant your wishes. Wait. Our wishes? <laughs> Our wishes for fishes? Or it would be nice to think that. Nice to think that. Seriously. Hey. I'll give this to you. It's so sparkly and beautiful. You want it, don't you? Sign of our friendship. I know what that is. Doing good. Off I go now. Good job. Hey, wait. Think we can eat it? Oh, well, there he goes. Uh, Star, huh? He said it'd grant our wishes or something. 
I highly doubt something like that would actually happen, even, even in Mementos. Well, I guess you can try and make it a wish. Oh, I know. I'll wish for an all-you-can-eat parfait with zero calories. All right. Extra large beef bowl with pork soup on the side. Uh... Nothing's happening. Was Skull's wish too petty? Huh? I mean, his was less petty. At least it was something that existed. You want to talk? This thing just don't happen that easily. Hey. You can't just throw the thing away. Hold on to it for now. Well, then. That's a bit unexpected. Let's head back now. What? <laughs> Did we just see? The fucking kid showed up looking for flowers in a damn clown car in the demon world. And they're like, hey, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, and what was that wall thing we saw at the end? Not entirely sure, but that wall must have been there for a reason. If Mementos is the public's palace, though, it might be affected by the general public's belief in us. Well, where's, like, some random people? Why do you know so much about it, Morgana? Yeah, Morgana. My memories are a little foggy in that regard. However, I need to know what lies in the depths of Mementos, no matter what. No matter what? Mementos is not just everyone's palace. It's the source of all palaces. It used to be that palaces like Kamoshida's with one ruler simply didn't exist. So if we can do something about the greatest cause of distortions, I'm certain my appearance will... You wanted someone to save you too. I, I just needed pawns. More like you needed paws. I see. So that's why you came poking your nose around with us. I'll help you. I hope you can regain what you've lost. I'll be relying on you guys. By the way, Morgana, are you a boy or might you be a girl? Could it be a car? <laughs> that is a possibility. I wish I could deny it, but I just can't be sure. Why not? <laughs> In any case, of course I'm male. Okay. I mean, I... What is it? No, it's nothing. We're done talking about that. Anyway, we now know that we can perform minor changes of heart in mementos. If we come across any eye-catching leads, it may be worth dealing with them for a bit of combat practice. There weren't any other outstanding ones, though. I bet we'll get tons of them if we can change someone famous and make the Phantom Thieves well-known. The big fish are our main targets, after all. Yeah, but if we do that and then I have to go into the palace, instead I could be, like, watching DVDs. First, you need to find a way to get through your exams. I gotta study. And now go to Mementos. This is where you will change the hearts of petty criminals who do not have their own palaces. For now, be patient until the next target appears. Oh, hello, fucking evil guy. Hey, it's me. I'm the most evil guy in the world. What up? Man, that Nakanohara guy was a piece of cake. We can take down some kind of big target next. We're totally gonna get famous. Hey, we're trying to help people not get famous. But if the people don't know who we are, then how are we gonna give them any courage? He's right. See? I don't think you're necessarily wrong. Uh, should we really be doing this at all if we don't have a reason, like with Kamashita? I mean, we shouldn't be sticking our nose into other people's business? I don't know, man. If someone's in trouble, it's only natural to help them out. I mean, I agree with that. I guess I was glad we were able to solve the stalker case. Plus, we got our personas if we don't use them for good. Don't you agree? I want to help people. And I'm one of those people. Same goes for me. You don't got much time left to be arguing over this either. That, uh, Matarame guy bothers me. Yeah, no getting carried away, you understand? And don't do anything to stand out, like failing your all your exams. Oh crap, speaking of that, I haven't studied at all. What about that star, the one Jose gave us? wonder if that would help us ace the exams. Yeah, somehow I doubt that. <laughs> I'd settle for not failing. Arguing isn't going to help you here. We wouldn't use it for that in the first place. Maybe you should, I don't know. Put some actual effort in? You've still got time. 
No. What's up? Is there Yuji? Did you mention anything about Mentos? Anything you want to know, I can tell you. Alrighty. Um. What's up, Keycat? Hey. You want to know anything about Mentos? Uh, what the hell was that kid? Mm. Kids? Well, honestly, I have no idea. I've never seen him before. I know he's not a shadow, but that's all I can say. I can say for sure. I don't even know if he's human. Um. He was saying something about gathering flowers from Mementos, right? You don't know who he is or what he wants. Either way, he doesn't seem dangerous. I don't want to prioritize it, but he said he'd compensate us. Maybe we can collect some if we have time? Seriously. And there's that star too, huh? Something about wishes? Not doing anything now, though. This looks like a rock, but why don't you hold on to it for now? No idea what it does, but maybe it'll help us in the metaverse. Well. I have a feeling that something deep within the pa pa place has caused me to take my current form. That's why I'm so interested in reaching the depths of Mementos. If we can find out the cause of my distorted form, I should be able to go back to normal, I think. Either way, I'll be counting on you guys to help me out. What is it exactly? Right. Collect a palace of the general public, Deep inside each and every human's mind is an obscured thought process known as the unconscious. These thought processes then meld together and form what I like to call the collective unconscious. In other words, Mementos is a shared cognitive world created by the joint distortions of society as a whole. Anyway, You can think of it as the big palace made up from everyone's hearts, though. Yeah, I had that barrier open up. <sighs> I would bet it would be because of the shift in public opinion caused by Kamashita's change in heart. These kind of big changes in the tide will surely have an impact on what goes on in Mementos. In other words, we might be able to get even further if we can rouse up more public acknowledgement. We can take down another target in order for that to happen, though. Oh, and... It's important to note that both mementos and the palaces are affected by real-world happenings. Oh god, I did that double thing again. Well, there's a great example of that. I mean, weather affects your mood, doesn't it? Same goes for mementos. You should try heading in on a day with bad weather. Alright, we will call it here. And next time... We'll do some nighttime stuff. We'll talk to probably Shojiro if we can. If not, we'll, I guess, raise one of our stats. Or maybe try and talk to a student, not student council guy, a politician guy. Yeah, we'll see. I'm Extra She's 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.